Hey, two bit, if trouble's following you around, don't try and bring your friends down with you. You got this. That makes you the lucky one. You know, you can get out of here. You might even go to college. To me, basketball's like everything else. You know, like school, like work. You gotta want to get in the game. And then when you do, you play to win. Hey, remember when we used to play horse? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, you just beat me with that dumpy little hook shot. I still got it. Hey, uh, about tonight. What would you do if you were me? I'd win the game. Now, the way the banks are bringing out the credit cards these days, <laughs> why not use them? Now, Linda and I have always dreamed of owning a boat. Just like buying a car, all you need is a low down and some good credit. Hey, it was nice to see you here today, Tim. You tell Daryl I'm holding on to that truck for him if he wants it. A lot of offers coming in on that thing. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Linda and I think you're all thinking about... Surprised? What do you think? I don't know. Thanks for that nice introduction. Well, everyone loved your shoes and your suit. Think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Just two greases going uptown, I guess. Yeah. Well, three. We're here every week. Doors always open if you want to come back. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse us, Shepard. What well, I mean. Yeah, I was just on my way out. Hal, you know, I was just telling Linda, it sure is nice of the Lord to let three greasers like us in here. Well, I even let you invite your new best friends to barbecue and water skiing on the lake. Proves we belong just about anywhere, doesn't it? You and me, we're as good as the next guy. As we all know, Jesus was just a simple carpenter. Yeah, and look what that got him. He knows what's in him for him. No, I told you. I've known Billy Woods since we were kids. Oh, look, I gotta go. Oh, I'll talk, yeah. Sounded important. Yeah, it was just business. I know about your business. Look, I saw you yesterday at school. You were real nervous when those guys showed. Now you just got off the phone. And you're even more nervous. Hey, hey, Tubit, what's going on? I'm in trouble, pulling boy. God, I'm scared. You know, it all started out as fun, right? It was exciting. You know, I was a delivery boy for these two gamblers. You know, it was just some easy money. I got Steve and a bunch of other guys to bet on the games. Then I started betting. You know, I was winning at first. Then I started losing. Pretty soon, I was just in over my head. I guess I thought that the only way I could get even is if I bet more. Now, Pony, I hold these guys a lot of money, and they're putting the squeeze on me. What happens if you don't pay? Well, I'll pay one way or another. No, but they can hurt me, Pony, like real bad. But you see, this is my worry, and it's not yours. Uh-uh. I'm gonna go get Dairy Soda and Steve. We ain't gonna let anybody hurt you. You don't understand, pony boy. God, I wanted to do it. I wanted to do something. Me. No, I wanted to make something out of myself. It wasn't just the money. You want some laughs? Maybe raise some hell? Chase some chicks? Well, then 2-Bit Matthews is your man. Everyone thinks I'm always the funny guy, huh? The clown. No, pony boy, that's not really me. Oh, yesterday at school, the vice principal suspended me. And then when I get to the parking lot, those two gamblers are there waiting for me. Then, when I get home, I get in a fight with my dad. So I left. You know, I wasn't even out to drive in with Sheila last night. I was alone. I paid some wine on 50 cents to buy me a bottle. 